Our son Caleb, uh, he was born December 13th, 2011. Um, as a new mom, single mom, I was completely terrified, but Caleb made it really easy. Um, he was a perfect baby. He ate, slept, did everything well. Um, before I knew it, he was trying to sit up, then he was crawling, then he was walking, and he just took off from there. Um, <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Ashley Johnson. Um, and Travis Holman. <laughs> and um, we're Caleb's parents. Caleb and I, we pretty much did everything together. Um, we used to take walks all the time. We would play outside. Um, he loved to play basketball and we would play music and sing at the top of our lungs. Growing up, I was an only child. Um, never really had a lot of contact with kids. So it was a big change for me. And I'm sure it was a big change for Caleb as well. But luckily, we were able to kick it off. Um, we had a lot of things in common. He loved playing outside, loved sports, soccer, football, and even Sunday, me and him could sit on the couch, watch football games. Um, so probably around two and a half, uh, I started noticing that Caleb's language, it really seemed to plateau. Like he would, we could get him to say maybe like a couple word sentences, but not, he wasn't like stringing words along like other kids and he wasn't, his fine motor skills um, weren't really coming together the way that we, we thought that they would. But then when Caleb turned about four, he started having these quick head drop seizures. It was like he would have a lapse where he would kind of like lose consciousness and then he'd be completely fine afterwards. Sometimes he would hurt himself. So we began taking him to doctors. When we took him to doctors, he was later diagnosed with epilepsy. Like, before we knew it, Caleb was, couldn't walk on his own at all. Um, so we got him a surgery for a vagus nerve stimulator, hoping that that would work. And as time passed, it seemed like that was really working. We were actually just celebrating uh, two months being seizure free, which is like a really big deal for us. And then, so after all the hospitalizations, all of the doctor's appointments and everything, it seemed, things seemed to be getting better. We were gonna try to get him back into some of his therapies. And then we got word from his geneticist that Caleb has uh, Batten CLN8. It's a rare genetic disease. Um, it's an autosomal recessive disease. Uh, it basically leaves children uh, cognitively impaired, it leaves them blind, um, unable to walk, and bedridden, and they usually don't live to be 12, 13 years old. And it was pretty much a big shock to know that no matter how hard we were working that Caleb wouldn't get those, those things back. Um, but even though Caleb's had it really hard, he always stays super positive, he always is smiling and he loves his friends at school, his teachers, and he has a way about him. Um, no matter what's going on, he's gonna persevere. He's gonna try his hardest to, to get through everything. Jesse, good job! This kid that loves going outside, playing with stuff. He might not be able to do that anymore. I think the hardest part for me has been that I always wanted Caleb to be such a mama's boy. And um, after just us going through all this, Caleb was, even before, he's always been so independent and he still just wants to do everything completely himself. And now it's like he really can't. Um, and just thinking that he might not be able to do those things, it's just, it's a horrible, it's a horrible thing to, to fathom. With your help, uh, we can give Caleb a second chance at life. 